We're gonna do a Super Mario World pack battle. Okay, young Choji with a strong arm. What's his name? That's a guy at the front desk, right? Yeah. Ooh. Ooh. Holographic. Oh, Rasengan. 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 Oh, okay, uh -huh. here we go. Here we go. It's going to be the. Oh, oh it's it's Tsunade. Tsunade. Peep it, peep it, it's Tsunade. Okay, go. Can you like restart it? Okay, I go. Okay. Got home, girl. Oh, Neji. Oh, come on, so. Yeah. Without whistle. Oh. Yeah. That's crazy. I win for sure. After that pack battle in the line, we finally got to make it into Bowser's castle. And as you can see here, they had a big old statue of King Bowser right in the middle of his castle. They had a little throne, a little throne room with a bunch of books around. Y'all know Bowser not reading no books. Stop playing with him. More books and schematics. The aesthetic was pretty cool in there. It's like steampunk style. Ah! Oh, my bad. Scared that. Oof! Scared me. These things are pretty cool. Show us how to make the bomb bombs while we're waiting in the line. Got all the bomb bombs there and the big. What are they called? Big Steve's? Bills. Bullet Bills. And then this is the entrance to the ride. It's Mario Kart. It's pretty cool. Oh, this was Bowser Jr.'s castle. Just like Bowser got a statue of Bowser Jr. in his own castle. We got another pack battle here. They was playing music on this street, so we had to mute the clip. You feel me? These are the two worst packs of the whole entire box. Oh, thank you. Let me get my pack. Oh, wow. Kamikatsu? Oh, Sound Village Ninja. Oh, another Hyuga. Oh, look at Sasuke. Oh, Ina. And that's it. All right, got my pack. Let's see what I'm gonna get out of here. And Naruto's mom. Naruto, okay. Gamakichi, Karin, and Kakashi. Worst packs. Yeah, this is the worst packs ever. Oh, look. These are some pictures that we took. Look at it. Oh, my wife's so beautiful. Look at me. I'm too cool for It was cold as hell, boy. Oh, this is the night clip. The night clip of uh, Nintendo World. Oh, this is me. You already know I was Luigi. I was on their ass. They can't mess with me. All right, we got the Harry Potter and the Chocolate Frogs opening. Got these Harry Potter cards. We're going to see what the Harry Potter cards talk about and the Chocolate Frogs. All right, so we are going to unbox the Chocolate Frog from Universal Studios. Apparently, there are trading cards in these boxes. That's what it say. One, Some kind of card. One milk box. chocolate shaped frog and five wizard cards. Five wizard cards each. So five for him, five for me. Dang, this is Mine already open a little bit. And this will also include a taste test of the chocolate frog. And I will be tasting the frog. To so. see if it tastes like chocolate. Or just frog. How cool would it be if you're actually in the movie and then the frog's like... Also, these are not the cheapy plastic ones. These are metal. Premium price, too. Yeah, Premium like, metal price. It's $30 each. Stickers coming off. Okay, ready? Yeah. What? Add like, the music. Add the music to it. Alright. Damn. 
That's a big that frog. That is a huge frog. Can you see the frog? ASMR. <laughs> Remember that guy? ASMR. Taste test first or cards first? Taste test. Taste test. Mm. Premium plastic. Don't bite the head off. You see it? Look at that ridge. Look at them legs. What's that guy said? The guy that could frog with? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna bite the head off. Ready? I'm gonna go for the booty. One. Oh, I do. Two. Three. Wait a minute. <sighs> it's actually all the chocolate. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna bite the foot. I couldn't even bite through the head. Tastes like dust. Wow, you couldn't even bite through the head. It tastes like some basic chocolate. It's solid chocolate though. It's chocolate through and through, but it's not good chocolate. I can't, I'm not even gonna take another bite. Might be good for hot chocolate. It might be good for hot chocolate. You might keep it. Probably will. Mm. Hmm. All right, cards. Drum roll. Ready? I already see somebody I don't know on the front card. How you don't know somebody though? You're a Harry Potter right? master. Look, they're in the shape of the actual card. And on the back, it has a. Um, spoilers. Yeah. On the back, it has something about them. So, oh! Oh! Dang, Duh. You got the OG Slytherin. I got Rowena Ravenclaw. Yeah, okay. That's her diadem. Voldemort so had part of his soul in her. Um, that thing. So it's a Horcrux for him? Mm-hmm. Horcrux. I know some stuff. Horcrux. What the bad <clears throat> It says, she's one of the four famous founders of Hogwarts. Most brilliant witch of her time. The legend has it that a broken heart cause unknown contributed to her early demise. Her daughter, Helena, is the Ravenclaw house ghost of Hogwarts. <laughs> I could read it just on my glasses. Uh, see, like when you read something the first shift. time, sometimes. <gasps> Dumbledore! Dang, you going too fast. Sorry. Oh, yeah, Salazar Slytherin. One of the four celebrated founders of Hogwarts also. Uh, Salazar was one of the first recorded parcel mouse and accomplished legolimens, whatever that means, and a notorious champion of pure blood supremacy. His last remaining heir was Voldemort. I didn't know that. Wait, Voldemort or Tom Riddle? Tom Riddle. Well, Tom Riddle was turned into Voldemort. Yeah, but he's Salazar Slytherin's descendant, apparently. He got a little bit of a little bit of a shift. A little bit of lentic. All right, next lentic for lentic. mine, a Dumbledore. Oh yeah, this is the one from the movie. You seen it here first, folks. Mine says. He is old, huh? 1881 through 1996. Brilliant and often controversial. Oh my goodness, I can't. That's read. 110. Controversial headmaster of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Magic. That's 115. Albus Dumbledore is most famous for his 1945 no. defeat of Grindelwald and his steadfast no championing of Harry Potter, the boy who lived. Huh. I got Godric Gryffindor. Godric Gryffindor, medieval precise dates unknown. One of the four famous founders of Hogwarts, Godric was the most accomplished dueler of his time and an enlightened fighter against muggle discrimination and the first owner of the celebrated sorting hat. He was born in the West, Count West Country Village of Godric's Hollow. They named it after him or it was already like that? Godric's Hollow, I'm pretty sure, is where Harry Potter's family was from. That's where he was born? <clears throat> yep. Is that where uh, Voldemort killed his parents? Alright, Helga Hufflepuff! She looking like a Helga. She got a crazy double chin. You see that? You see the shift? Crazy. Dang, she's doing a double chin shift too? Yeah. Uh, medieval, precise dates unknown, one of the four celebrated founders of Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, was particularly famous for her dexterity at food related charms. Many recipes traditionally served at Hogwarts feasts originated with Hufflepuff. How come you never get chosen as Hufflepuff? I got Dumbledore again. 
What are you trying to say? What? Nothing. I got Dumbledore again. Because she's good at food trends? Because she liked to cook. You like to cook? Next. I feel like you're saying I like to eat in a very nice way. Oh, these are... These are also Godric Gryffindor and Miss Salazar Slytherin. Yeah, and then I got Rowena Wade, Ravenclaw, and Helga Hufflepuff. See, her name is hard to say. So I spent sixty dollars to get two of these, just to get two to duplicates of both cards of all five I, cards. I guess so. I thought. I wonder if these are all the cards. So basically, they gave us the different houses of Hogwarts. And Dumbledore. And Dumbledore. They gotta give you Dumbledore. But they should definitely nice, extend though, like these fit. into all of the characters from Harry Potter because that'd be cool. Maybe like what if we we gotta look it up now because what if I just happen to grab these two and then they well, just then happen you have to have the worst luck look in history. You ain't gonna never lie. The worst luck. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. I'm really gonna eat this. Uh, Chocolate frog and some hot chocolate. I might melt it in a pot.